Hey class, welcome back. Today we are still talking about the 1900s through the 1920s and we are talking about the Panama Canal. Now, the Panama Canal isn't as big a deal now as it was, but there's other modes of transportation, you know, especially with flight being around, which we went over earlier about, or the other day with, with Orville and Wilbur Wright having the first successful flight. But back when it was built, all right, and it was finished in 1914, it was very, very important because before, if you were shipping stuff, you had to go all the way around the end or the tip end of South America to come back up to the Pacific Ocean, go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, if you were shipping something from the East Coast of, of the United States there. And what it did is 48 mile long canal that they built through Panama. And it, it allowed these ships to pass through and it saved a bunch of time and a bunch of money for companies that were shipping things. So uh, that's what we're talking about today though, the Panama Canal. And it was, it was really tough building this canal. And uh, we're gonna talk about some of the hardships and some of the, some of the things that it helped do and some of the people that built it today and uh, some of the things they had to go through they had to go through, it was very difficult and, and it stopped sometimes and then it took, got took over by the United States who helped get the building finally completed. So that's what we're talking about, the Panama Canal. All right, it's a 48 mile long man-made waterway and it crosses the Isthmus of Panama. All right, it's at the Panama Canal, that's what it looks like. It's 48 miles long and there's a number of locks on each side and they raise ship to allow them to pass between the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So it connects the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. What is it? The Panama Canal is a 48 mile long man-made waterway that, that crosses the isthmus of Panama. It uses a number of locks on each side to lower and raise ship to allow them to pass between the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. All right, so it was built to lower the distance cost and time it took for ships to carry cargo between the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Before the canal, like I said, they'd have to go all the way to the tip end of South America and go around, all right? And uh, a ship traveling from New York to San Francisco, it saved about 8,000 miles and about five months of travel. So it was a big, big, thing because because you're saving all this distance and all this time and all this money everything i tell you all the time everything boils down to money it's all about money in history so and the canal was a huge boost to world trade and economy when they did this why was it built the panama canal was built to lower the distance cost and time it took for ships to carry cargo between the atlantic and pacific oceans before the canal ships would have to go around the entire continent of south america a ship traveling from New York to San Francisco saved about 8,000 miles and five months of travel by crossing at the canal. The Panama Canal was a huge boost to world trade and the economy. All right. Why a canal in Panama? Why did they build this in Panama? Well, if you look here, right here in South America, like I said before, they'd have to go all the way down here and come back up to get to, to, get to the San Francisco up here. It's a little strip of land, all right? It's a little bitty strip of land in, in Panama. Uh, it's a very narrow strip of land between between the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And it was still a huge engineering project. It was the easiest place to build it because it's such a narrow strip of land. Why a canal in Panama? The Isthmus of Panama was chosen for the site of the canal because it's a very narrow strip of land between the two oceans. Although the canal was still a huge engineering project, this was the easiest place to build it. All right. So the French began working on the canal in 1881, all right? But it failed due to disease and construction difficulties. They had all kinds of diseases, which we'll get into. You know, a lot of people got malaria because their mosquitoes were, were heavy then. You know, they didn't like they could take some off and spray on them, and, you know, back then. So people got malaria, they got diseases. And then in 1904, the United States, after it was failed with France, they took over. And they worked on it for 10 years. And it was officially opened on August 15th, 1914 was the date it was officially opened on. August 15th, 1914. When was it built? The French began 
resumed work on the canal in 1881, but failed due to disease and construction difficulties. In 1904, the United States began to work on the canal. It took 10 years of hard work, but the canal was officially opened on August 15, 1914. All right, so who built the canal? Well, there were thousands of workers from around the world that helped build the canal. There was about 45,000 men involved total. Uh, the United States funded the canal, and the lead engineers were from the United States, all right? Men such as John Stevens, all right, who convinced President Teddy Roosevelt that the canal would have to be elevated. Then he had Will, William Gorgas, who came up with ways to fight disease by killing the mosquitoes, all right? And George Gothels, who headed up the project from 1907. So there were lots of lots of people that were involved in this huge, huge project. Uh, not just from the United States, but from, from around the world. Who built the Panama Canal? Thousands of workers from around the world helped to build the canal. At one point, there were as many as 45,000 men involved in the project. The United States funded the canal and, the lead in, and were the lead engineers for, were from the U.S. They included men such as John Stevens, who convinced President Teddy Roosevelt that the canal would have to be elevated. William Gorgas, who came up with the ways to fight disease by killing mosquitoes. And George Gothels, who headed up the project from 1907. All right, so building the canal, like I said, it was not easy. All right, they had to battle disease, mudslides, all right, poisonous snakes. And poisonous snakes, mosquitoes, mudslides, scorpions. Poor living conditions. They had to battle all of these conditions, okay? And the completion of them now took some of the best engineering skills and innovation of this time. So some of the things they had to battle, diseases, they had mosquitoes, they got people got malaria, all right, from mosquitoes. They had to buy poisonous snakes. They had mudslides that would come when it rained too much. So all these things happened building the canal, all these different circumstances they had to deal with. Building the canal. Building the canal was not easy. Workers had to battle disease, mudslides, poisonous snakes, scorpions, and poor living conditions. The completion of the canal took some of the best engineering skills and innovation of the time. All right. So there were three major construction projects going on here, okay? They had, built, they had to build these locks, all right? There were locks on each side of the channel, and what it would do, it would, it would lower the boats. It lower them down in the water or push them up, you know, each like 110 feet wide. All right. Then they had to dig, dig the Calabra, Calabra cut. All right. And it was a section of the canal it had to be dug through mountain, through the mountains of the Panama, of Panama. All right. Well, that's really tough because then you're dealing with landslides, falling rock. It made it really difficult. Then you had to build them the Gayton Dam. Uh, they decided to make a large artificial lake that came through the center of Panama. So they constructed a dam on the Gayton River, creating Gayton Lake. So all these things were done. I'm not gonna sit here and make y'all read all this. This is too much to read at one time. I just wanted you to touch on those major projects they, that they did. So, uh, but the Panama Canal today, in 1999, the United States, they had control of it all this time. They transferred control to the canal, of the canal to the country of Panama, which is where it is. And, uh, the canal remains an important part of international trade, and around 12,000 ships travel through the canal each year, carrying over 200 million tons of cargo. So there's about 9,000 people that work for the Panama Canal. So it's still a big, import, big part of trade throughout the world, even today. The Panama Canal today, in 1999, the United States transferred control of the canal to the country of Panama. Today, the canal remains an important part of international trade. Around 12,000 ships travel through the canal each year, carrying over 200 million tons of cargo. Around 9,000 people currently work for the Panama Canal. All right, so how long is this canal? Is the Panama Canal, is it five miles long, 14 miles long, or 48 miles? It is 48 miles long that goes from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean through, through the uh, country of Panama. Is a narrow strip of land. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. 38 miles long. All right, number two. Who started building this canal in 1881, but they had to stop because of construction construction issues and as well as diseases their, their workers were getting? Was it A, France, B, the United States, or C, England? It was A, France. France is the first country to start building this, and then 
The United States took over later. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, why was Panama chosen? A, they volunteered. B, it was a narrow strip of land that went from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, or C, it wasn't chosen. It was B, it was a narrow strip of land. It would be the easiest to cut through and make a canal through because of the narrow strip of land there. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Number four, what year was it finished? What year was it finished in? Was it finished in A, 2018, B, 1914, or C, the year 3000? It was finished in B, 1914 is when it was finished. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Ten years after the United States took over. Number five, what were dangers, some of the dangers of building the canal? A, they had mosquitoes, mudslides, and snakes. B, Mr. Sean was there. To, he was dangerous. He was there. Or C, they had bears. It was A, they had mosquitoes that got diseases from malaria, got diseases such as malaria. They had mudslides that could, would come when they were building certain parts of it. And then they had poisonous snakes all over the place too. So these were some of the dangers. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. And our last one, who took over construction and funded the canal after France? They started this in 1904. Was it A, the United States, B, France, or C, England? It was A, the United States took over construction in 1904, and they finally finished it in 1914, 10 years later. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. All right, class, that is all for right now. We'll be back next time talking about the Titanic. All right? The Titanic is a ship that sank in 19, I think it was 1912. I believe that's right. If it wasn't, if I'm not right, I might be off a year or two. But anyway, yeah, it was it was deemed unsinkable, but it sank. So we're going to talk about that. That's some things that happened from 1900 to 1920. And so I will see you next time. You all have a good day.